U.S. Global AIDS Coordinator Ambassador Deborah Burks shares her thoughts on the importance of World AIDS Day for 2015. World AIDS Day is a, a tremendously important moment for all of us. It allows us to reflect on where we've been over the last three decades, to remember those that we've lost from this terrible disease, and also reflect on our successes and where we're going. So it becomes a moment in time to both learn from what we have done in the past, recognize and memorialize those we have lost, and really energize ourselves to a new future. When we announced our new targets of 12.9 million individuals on treatment by the end of 2017 and 13 million young men circumcised by the end of 2017 and 40% decrease in incidence in young women in the highest burden African countries, it says that we are not only committed to saving the lives of those who are infected, but also preventing new infections. With this increased number of adolescents in Sub-Saharan Africa because of the impact of saving children under five, they've grown up, they're healthy adolescents, and it's our job collectively between the countries and government and the United States government to work on programs that keep those children HIV free as they go through adolescence and young adulthood. And this is a challenge that will unite us during World AIDS Day. Can you imagine if you had the tools to decrease the number of new cancer cases by 90%. We have those tools today. We have the tools in our hands to actually decrease the number of new infections in HIV AIDS by 90%. If we come together as a community, recognizing that HIV positive individuals and communities need to lead, governments need to lead, and the United States remains committed and unwavering in its support to changing the very course of this pandemic. For more information on 2015 World AIDS Day activities, visit blog.aids.gov.